I believe so, yes. And I must say, I was very surprised because there are several hundred people freely walking the streets of Britain, uh, mostly men, who chose to go and fight with ISIS, uh, you know, on the front lines, and were just allowed to come back and resume their lives in the United Kingdom. And I've always been worried about that because I thought, well, how many of these have been seriously radicalized, mm. damaged by being involved in a brutal war? Do we really want these people back in the country? And yet there appeared to be no legal redress. So I was pleased with yesterday's judgment, but I must express a degree of surprise as well. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be saying, though, Nigel, you know, look, she was a child when she was, I suppose, in a way, groomed by ISIS. She was 15 years old when uh, she obviously left the, the horrors of Tower Hamlets to go to the paradise of Raqqa. And uh, some people will be saying, look, maybe maybe she should be allowed back. Well, I do understand that argument. But uh, I mean, here's the point. Uh, you know, she has been w living with an extremist group. Who's to say she's not a threat to national security if she still holds that ideology? And how do we find out what she genuinely believes in now? Because if you remember, you know, initially she made some comments that we would all, I, I think, think were rather dangerous uh, and then appeared to backtrack. So who really is Shemina Begin? Do we really want her back free on Britain's streets? I have to say that I don't. Mm, yes, and you but can do you get... not think? Oh, on, do you not think those questions, Nigel? We will make America great again.